this time, first time I would like to call on Portland's Max and such to lead us in this series. Please, please rise and move your move your hats for the singing of Okan. We will begin tonight's celebration with several speeches before we get introduced to our graduates. Our first reading comes from the Okanagan Indian Band. We acknowledge and recognize the Okanagan people on whose traditional territory our school district resides. I would like to call upon Wanda Duncan of the Okanagan Indian Band to welcome us to the Okanagan Nation and to offer a greeting to the graduates. Good evening. I'd like to first acknowledge the traditional territory of the Okanagan people who have lived and resided in this area since time immemorial. I'd like to acknowledge the graduates and the teachers who collectively worked hard to get them to where they are today. And on behalf of the Okanagan Indian Band Chief and Council, wish you all the best and success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Like, gentlemen. <laughs> At this time, it's my pleasure to welcome Mrs. Kelly Smith, School District 22 trustee, to offer greetings to the class of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Board of Education of School District 22, I'm very pleased to offer congratulations to the total graduates of 2018. Graduates, You've reached the first one of many remarkable goals in your lives. You're now ready to set off into your next adventure. What an exciting time is this for you. Last night on Global News, I heard that you're called Generation Z. I did a brief search on the internet and found that you're a generation that wants to make a positive impact on the world. You're practical, pragmatic, and you're keen to help others. You're a generation of builders and makers. You will be the architects of the future. And here's a quote from a Toronto newspaper. There's the generally held hope that Generation Z could prove to be the next truly great generation. A smart, global, industrious group capable of righting the wrongs of the previous generations. No pressure. Whether you choose to work, to travel, to take courses at a college or a university, whatever you choose to do, I wish you all great success 
in your journey to the next remarkable goal in your life. And to the class of 2018, congratulations and all the best. Thank you, Mrs. Smith. I would like to invite Mr. Joe Rogers, Superintendent for School District Number 22, to come to the stage and offer his congratulations to the class of 2018. Thanks, Mike. Parents, grandparents, family and friends, special guests, and most importantly, grads. It's my honor to be here today on behalf of district staff and the Ministry of Education. We begin by recognizing the Okanagan people, the Silk people, on whose traditional territory we live. We learn and we celebrate. Thank you. Thank you to the many community organizations who give so generously by providing scholarships and bursaries. These extra funds allow more students to pursue their post-secondary dreams. Reds, please remember to thank your mom and dad, your grandma and grandpa, your brothers and sisters, your friends, for helping you reach this important milestone. I'm sure over the last few days, your mom and dad have thought about the first day of kindergarten and dropping you off and wondered where the time went. Clarence Fulton is an excellent school, full of great teachers who care about you as people. They have prepared you very well for the future and are very proud of you today. I would be remiss if I didn't wish your principal, Brian, out a successful transition to his new principalship in Edmonton. Brian, good luck at Edmonton. A couple of pieces of advice. First, from Steve Jobs. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. From Ralph Waldo Emerson. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and create a trail. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Remember to reach your dreams with passion and perseverance. Well done to the class of 2018. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Uh, now, could you please join me in welcoming Mr. Brian Out, the principal of Clarence Fulton Secondary School, to address the graduates. Thanks, Mike. Good evening, grads, grad families, special guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Out. Son of Casey and Deb, born in Vernon, grown in Armstrong. Brother of Gary, husband of Courtney. Dad of Maya and Emma. Learner, supporter of growth, principal. Grads, my first question to you, or for you, is how do you introduce yourself today? How do you want to introduce yourself in five years, 10 years, or 25 years? I'm very honored to be here tonight as the proud principal of Fulton Secondary as we recognize the accomplishment these fine young ladies and gentlemen of our, our grads of 2018. Thank you to our Fulton families and our school community who have supported and cared for these grads during their 13 years of school. Grads, please make sure to say thank you to those folks who supported you along your journey to grad. As grads, I'm sure you've heard many pieces of advice and so-called wisdom over the years from a variety of different folks. And when it comes to providing such info, I'll try and keep it brief. I'm only going to give you one word as a piece of advice. Hug. Why hug? Good question. A three-letter word with each letter representing one word. I thought that would be easy to remember. So here's the letters. H. 
It could stand for many different words, helpful, honest, humble, but I'm going to go with human. Life is going to have its celebrations and its difficult times. In either case, don't lose your sense of humor. Laughing is, a, is powerful, and the old adage, laughter is the best medicine, holds true. If you had your phones up here tonight, I'd ask you to look it up. U is for understanding. You need to understand each other's unique needs and accept and respect differences in beliefs, values, ethnicities, and religions. Listen first, speak second, and when trying to understand, ask questions. While it's important to understand others' uniqueness, it is of more importance to understand yourself. What do you value? What do you believe in? These things may change over time, but know what they are as they will guide your decisions that will be true to you and lead you to happiness. G is for generosity. To give generously is good for others and for yourself. And to give doesn't necessarily mean giving money. It could mean being generous with your time or generous with your knowledge. There are many ways to give to others. The must do is to give generously. During your 13 years of education, you've had stressful days, and your stressful days will continue once you're out of program. The question is, what do you do on those stressful days? Here's a few suggestions from Danny DiPiro, author of the Positively Present blog. Celebrate what's working. Write about how you feel. Take a time out, even for a few minutes. Go outside for a walk. Trash negative thoughts. Slow down. Don't overbook yourself. Compliment yourself. Consider how you're lucky. Be your own cheerleader. And tell someone I love you. Brad, each of you is unique and has a skill set that can lead to great things. Be proud of who you are and where you're from. I wish each and every one of you much success and happiness in the future. You all deserve it. As you leave the Fulton list, I wish you a life full of hugs. Congratulations to the grad class of 2018. The job well done. Thank you. Okay, it's now time to introduce all of these fabulous people up here for graduating class. The students will be introduced in alphabetical order. Mountain West Photo Studios will be taking a professional photo of each graduate and providing this picture as part of the student's grad package. That means you can stay in your seats and enjoy the ceremony. Uh, before each student is introduced, they will light a candle, which represents the light of learning that each of our graduates has acquired as they have progressed through the halls of Clarence Fulton. All graduates have had opportunities to experience success, strive for excellence, and become responsible citizens. This year, the first candle will be lit by Randy Lund and Tegan Wolfert in memory of Miles Dixon. Miles will always be a part of the graduating class of 2018. Mr. Alan G. and Mrs. Jacqueline Olson to introduce and recognize individuals from the class of 2018. Our local community of businesses, service groups, and individuals have contributed over $146,000 to students with scholarships and bursaries to be awarded this evening. Mr. G. and Mrs. Olson. Ashton 
All her friends and family for supporting her through these years, especially when she wore her socks and sandals in the winter. In addition, I would like to call upon Ms. Patty Harrison to present to Ashton with the School District No. 2 Scholarship Trust Fund Award. Congratulations, Ashton. Raymond Aptar. Raymond would like to thank his family and teachers for constantly providing love and support throughout high school. I would also like to give a personal thank you to Mr. Bowl, Ms. Wall, Caleb, Holden, Jake, Cassie, and the L. Gatto. Congratulations, Raymond. Josh Alaric. Josh would like to thank Mr. Ladner and Mrs. Tatro for pushing him to get his work done in time for graduation. He also thanks all his teachers for helping him complete his courses. Well done, Josh. Nicholas Allen. Nico would like to thank his friends, family, and Google for helping him. Earlier this year, Nicholas was presented with the Nitco Electric Supply brochure. Congratulations, Nico. Allison. Kate plans to study kinesiology in Grand Prairie, in Grand Prairie, where she's been signed to the women's soccer team. She'd like to thank her family, coaches, and everyone else who supported her. Earlier this year, Kate was presented with an athletic scholarship from Grand Prairie Regional College. In addition, I would like to call upon Mrs. Sandra Patterson to present Kate with the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 25 bursary. Congratulations, Kate. Shemaine Andell. Shemaine would like to thank her mom and dad for helping her get through school. She will remember the friendships she made at Clarence Hall. She signed to UBC Okanagan. I would like to now call upon Sonia Sokol to present Shemaine for the St. James Women's League bursary. Congratulations to me. Calais Babby. Calais thanks her friends and the Fulton staff for their support. Her fondest memories include social studies in English with Mr. Bowl, Ms. Walher, and Mrs. Wall. Calais plans to work before furthering her education. Well done, Calais. Nathan Manga. Nathan would like to thank his parents and Mr. Olson for always supporting him through his high school basketball career. Nathan is planning on playing basketball at UBCO and pursuing a degree in human kinetics. Congratulations, Nathan. Cameron's future plans are to attend the University of Virginia in the Excellence in Business program while playing soccer for the University Women's Cougars soccer team. Cam would like to thank her parents for helping her get through school. Bursaries are the Soccer and Academic Scholarship for the University of Virginia. Congratulations, Cam. Kate Hamilton. Sarah would like to thank her mom, dad, and friends for their continuous support throughout the years, and to specifically show appreciation to Mr. G for a wildly thought-provoking semester. <laughs> I'd like to call upon Madame Corinne Summerfelt to present Sierra with the Mission Hill Elementary PAC Citizen Citizenship Scholarship. Congratulations, Sierra. James Bernakovich. James would like to thank Gavin for his spontaneity in keeping school, school interesting. We would also like to thank Mr. Garlick for teaching physics in a logical way. James is looking forward to traveling next year with the hope of discovering his career path. Good luck, James. 
and Jonathan Bernakovich. Jonathan would like to thank his friends, teachers, and family. In addition, I would like to call upon Mrs. Andrea Thorburn to present Jonathan with the Ministry of Education District College Project Scholarship. Congratulations, Jonathan. Kevin Best. Kevin would like to thank his whole family, especially his mother, for helping him get the chance to go to college and start his dream of being a heavy duty mechanic. He also appreciates their help in get him getting through school to graduate. Earlier this year, Kevin received tuition sponsorship from District 22 for Heavy Duty Mechanical Education Foundation program at Okanagan College, which he will start in September. Best wishes, Kevin. Cassidy Greatface. <laughs> Cassidy would like to thank her family and teachers for helping her through high school. We would also like to thank all her friends who are always there for her. She's planning on going to medical school in 2019. Congratulations, Cassidy. <laughs> Hunter Broden. Andrew, we'd like to wish you all the best in, in the future. In addition, I would like to call upon Mr. and Mrs. Dave and Betty Claudette to present Hunter with the Vernon Rotary Club Scholarship. <laughs> Next, I would like to call upon Mr. Ryan Thompson. Andrew. Stay put. <laughs> Next, I would like to call upon Mr. Ryan Thompson to present Hunter with the Clarence Fulton Staff Award. <laughs> Furthermore, I would like to call upon Mrs. Rebecca McGrath to present Hunter with the Smith Family Memorial Scholarship. And lastly, I'd like to call upon Mr. Ed Stratter to present Hunter with the Peter Eisman Memorial Math Scholarship. Congratulations, Hunter. Jason Ryan. Jason would like to thank those that supported him for the last five years. He's looking forward to attending UBCO in September in the Bachelor of Nursing program. Dayton is also excited to coach hockey and swimming in the, in the years to come. In addition, I would like to call upon Mr. Sean Bowell to present Dayton with the Fulton Humanities Scholarship. Congratulations, Dayton. Ethan Buckland. Thank his family, friends, and teachers for all their support through his academic years. He's looking forward to starting his Millwright course at Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops. Earlier this year, Ethan received the tuition sponsorship from the District 22 to enroll in the Millwright Foundation program, which will start in February 28, 2019. Good luck, Ethan. Ryan Buck. Ryan has enjoyed the three years spent at Fulton and will be attending New Vic next year. We would like to thank his family and friends, and also Stefan for getting him through work, and Maurice with the motorboat rides. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you for him. Hunter would like to thank her family for their love and support. I'm excited and looking forward to new adventures. In addition, I'd like to call upon Mrs. Lisa Woodliff to present Hunter with the Okanagan College Community Spirit Award. Congratulations, Hunter. Raiden Cantaloupe. Raiden wants to thank his family and friends for the love and support they've given him throughout his life. He also thanks his teachers for their help during high school. Well done, Raven. 
Reed Casanova. Reed would like to thank his friends and family for supporting him throughout his time in high school. He plans on going to Okanagan College in September. Reed has enjoyed his time here at Fulton and has great hopes for the future. I'd like to call upon Mrs. Michelle Casanova, his mom, to present Reed with the Lavington Fire Department Scholarship. Congratulations, Ty Team. Ty thanks his family for all the support they've given him during school, his friends for keeping him relatively sane, and Coach Scheller for the awesome rugby seasons. Best wishes to you, Ty. And Pierre Che. And Pierre wants to thank her parents for giving her the opportunity to come to Fulton. She thanks her friends for making her days fun and enjoyable. Her future plans are to go to TRU for nursing. Congratulations, Han Pierre. Matthias Clement. Matthias will remember that high school was nothing like what the media had led him to believe. I said it was pretty good since all the teachers were great. He is pursuing his chosen career in computer programming at Okanagan College. In addition, I would like to call upon Mr. Ed Schrader to present Matthias with the Peter Eisman Memorial Math Scholarship. As well, I'd like to call Ms. Heidi Van Vliet to present Matthias with the Okanagan College Community Spirit Award. I've done Matthias. Julio Como. <laughs> Julia would like to thank all of her friends and family for all of their amazing support. She is excited to be taking a gap year to travel and experience new things before settling down in Calgary, Alberta to get her Bachelor's of Education. Thank you. Good luck, Julia. <laughs> Tia Kwame. <laughs> Tia would like to thank her supportive friends and family and the teachers at Fulton for making the experience worthwhile. Good luck, Tia. Jade Conley. Jade would like to thank Travis Deschamps for motivating her to get where she is, and Melanie Jorgensen for being a huge support for helping her start college. She'd also like to thank her family for helping her get through high school. Earlier this year, Jade received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District 22 to enroll in the Heavy Duty Mechanical Foundation Program at OC, which she will start in September. I'd like to call upon Richard Santos, to present Jade with the H5 Master's Bursary and lastly upon Mrs. Jean Hinch to present Jade with the JNR Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations Jade. Ty Cook. I'd like to show appreciation to all his friends and family that have helped him through the past five years. He would like also to thank all the teachers that have taught him. Congratulations, Tom. Jalen Potter. Jalen will never forget the amazing friendships she has made throughout the past 12 years, and I'd like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for the amazing support throughout her life with schooling, curling, and much more. Good luck, Jalen. <laughs> Emily Dahl. <laughs> Emily, would, Emily would like to thank each and every person in her life that supported her through her years at Fulton and is excited to further her education at UBCO within the fall. Good luck, Emily. Nola de Balahar. 
Moore would like to thank his parents and teachers for their support, and he looks forward to pursuing a career as an electrician. Earlier this year, Noah received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District 22 to enroll in the Electrical Foundations program at Okanagan College. Noah is currently taking the electrical program in Vernon and will graduate from Okanagan College in July. Best of luck, Noah. Tegan Dirkash. Dirkin joined his five years in Fulton. He would like to thank his teachers for their help, and he took much pride in learning from his coaches. He thanks his family and friends for being part of his greatest memories. He awaits the 2019 NBA draft. Good luck, Tegan. Yisushuan Deng. Otherwise known as Arthur. Wants to thank his parents in China for the chance to spend two wonderful years in Canada. He also wants to thank his friends and his teachers who helped him a lot in his studies. He is hoping to attend SFU next year. Congratulations, Yisushuan. <laughs> Caden Doyle. Caden would like to thank his parents, teachers, and coaches for helping him balance school, work, and sports for the last five years. Caden's taking a gap year to work and to play football for the Okanagan Sun. Well done, Caden. Ethan Eisenhower. Ethan would like to thank his parents and friends for helping him get to high school as mediocre as possible. Earlier this year, Ethan received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District number 22 to enroll in the plumbing and piping program at Oak College, which he will start in August. Good luck, Ethan. <laughs> Gavin Elliott. Gavin thanks his mom and his dad for always standing by and supporting him. Gavin wishes the best to all of his friends and classmates in their future adventures. Earlier this year, Gavin received a tuition sponsorship from the Vernon School District 22 to enroll in the Electrical Foundation program at Okanagan College. Gavin is currently taking the Electrical program at Vernon and will graduate from Okanagan College in July. Congratulations, Gavin. Elizabeth Fairbrother. Elizabeth would like to thank her family for their love and support throughout the years. Elizabeth will be pursuing a degree in counseling. I'd like to call upon Ms. Andrea Thorburn to present Elizabeth with the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship. Next, I'd like to call upon Janine Arnold to present Elizabeth with the Klaus and Elizabeth Kuhl Award. And lastly, I'd like to call upon Mr. Dale Olson to present Elizabeth with the Okanagan College Community Spirit Award. Yeah, okay. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Marie Foisy. Marie would like to thank her parents for their patience in helping her get through high school, and she hopes everyone enjoys the snow while she is laying in the sun. Hmm. From there to here, now her journey begins. Best wishes, Marie. Ariana Fortin. Yeah! Ariana is a care aide at a care home and is excited to see where the rest of her career will take her. She would like to thank her family for making her a strong person and to her friends and her boyfriend for loving her unconditionally. Good luck, Ariana. Stefan Foster. Stefan would like to thank his family for the constant support throughout the school. We'd also like to thank Ryan for getting him to work every day and Reese for the motorboat rides. Good luck, Stefan. <laughs> Eric Gibson. Yeah, Earlier this year, Eric received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Electrical Foundation program at Okanagan College. Eric is currently taking the Electrical program in Vernon 
and will graduate from Omaha College in July. All the best there. Matthew Deeds. Earlier this year, Matthew received a tuition sponsorship from the Vernon School District 22 to enroll in the Culinary Arts Program at Okanagan College, which he will start in October. All the best, Matt. <laughs> Ethan Goddard. <laughs> Ethan would like to thank his mother and father for pushing him to be the best he can be by learning and understanding school so that he can go to college, which will hopefully allow him to get the job that he will love. Ethan thanks all the teachers he had in high school. Well done, Ethan. Carissa Goodwin. <laughs> Carissa would like to thank everyone who helped raise her. You all know who you are. She would also like to thank all the teachers who encouraged her to dream big and leap higher. I would like to call upon Ms. Patty Harrison to present Carissa with the Ministry of Education District Project Sculpture. Congratulations, Carissa. Holden Goodite Oakland. <laughs> Holden would like to thank all of the teachers that have helped him throughout the years, with a special thanks to Mrs. Jorgensen for helping him with his carpentry apprenticeship. Earlier this year, Holden received a tuition sponsorship from School District 22 to enroll in the Carpentry Foundation Program at Okanagan College in his grade 11 year. Holden successfully completed level one technical training last August and is currently working. Well done, Holden. Fred Hansen. Fred thanks his Mission Hill and Holden teachers, coaches, and especially his family for their love, support, and guidance. Basketball, volleyball, and rugby were memorable highlights. Brett is eager to pursue airplane maintenance in Kelowna. Earlier this year, Brett received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Heavy Mechanical Technician Program at Ogden College, which he will start in February of 2019. Well done, Brett. Daniel Nelson. <laughs> Daniel would like to thank all his teachers, friends, and family for helping helping him get to this point in his life. Daniel gives a special thanks to Ms. Garrett and Ms. Harrison and Ms. Gray for all their support and guidance. Congratulations, Daniel. <laughs> Reese Hawthorne. Reese would like to thank all the teachers at Colton for putting up with him, of course. He's excited to pursue business at OC in Vernon. When not in class, you can find Reese on the water where he spends his time kiteboarding. I would like to call upon Mr. Brian out to present Reese with the Vernon Principal and Vice Principals Association Scholarship. Congratulations, Reese. Jonathan Heaton. For those of you who don't already know JJ, imagine a child of a dying star and a unicorn. And oh, and it came out dipped in chocolate. JJ has been accepted to UBCO, where he will take human kinetics, and he will also play defensive ends of the Okanagan Sun. I'd like to call upon Mrs. Rebecca McGrath to present Jonathan with the Silver Star Rotary Club Scholarship. Next, I would like to call upon Ms. Shelley Isaac to present Jonathan with the Jamie Sweet Memorial Athletic Bursary. And lastly, I would like to call upon Mr. Mike Scheller to present Jonathan with the Clarence Fulton Staff Award. Congratulations, JJ. Allison Hopkirk. <laughs> Allison thanks your teachers, Mr. Bull, Mr. Santos, Mr. G, Mr. Thompson, and Shaggy for the great impact they've had on her high school career. She also thanks her mom and dad for their unwavering support. 
She will miss being a part of Fulton's sports teams. Allison will be attending UBCO, and earlier this year, Allison was the recipient of the Bob Johnson Memorial Scholarship from the Armstrong Spallow Machine Fire Department, as well as the Criterion Capital Group Bursary from the Cattlemen's Association. Allison was also the recipient of the Jordan Young Memorial Scholarship. I would now like to call upon Mr. Jeff Mayle to present Allison with the Armstrong Regional Cooperative Bursary. Cooperative first read. And lastly, I would like to call upon Erin Hopper, her mom, to present Allison with the Vernon Teachers Association Award. Congratulations. Skyler Cornell. Skyler would like to thank his mom and his father for pushing him and allowing him to reach his goals with success. I would not have been able to do it without you, he said. Well done, Skyler. Abby Hughes. <laughs> Abby has loved the Fulton family for the past five years. We'd like to thank the teachers and coaches who helped her along her path. Next year, Abby will attend Okanagan College. She's looking forward to life's next step. Earlier this year, Abby was the recipient of the Jordan Young Memorial Scholarship. Good luck, Abby. Cole Hunter. Cole would like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for making high school so memorable. We would like to especially thank Mr. Olson and Mr. Scheller for helping him, for helping make him the man he is today. Dilly dilly. <laughs> Good job. Taylor <laughs> Miller. Taylor yeah. would like to thank his family and teachers for constantly providing love and support through high school. Taylor would also like to give a personal thank you to Mr. Bull. Yeah. Mrs. Wall, Raymond, Colvin, Jake, Cassie, and Neil Lutos. Bursaries include the acceptance into Quest University, where he received a $6,000 scholarship. Congratulations, Caitlin. For Kurt Janda. For Kurt would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for all their love and support. For Kurt's future plans are to go to UBCO in September. Also, she gives a special shout out to Mr. G for giving her the opportunity to go to Ottawa. In addition, I would like to call upon Mr. G to present for Kurt with the Clarence Fulton Staff Award. And next, I'd like to call upon Madame Karina Sommerfeld to pre present for Kurt with the Teen Count Two Scholarship. And lastly, I'd like to call upon Ms. Patty Harrison to present the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Kurt. Gerline Janda. Gerline would like to thank her family and friends for all the support they've provided to her throughout these five years, making it a successful and positive experience. Gerline plans to pursue a nursing degree at Okanagan College. Congratulations, Gerline. Sing Q Jen. <laughs> Ryan loves Canada and feels it has been a great honor to be here for the past few years. He plans to attend a hospitality school in Switzerland. Ryan would like to thank his parents for supporting him and thanks to his favorite teacher.
Jesse's first plan is to go to university to become a hospitality manager or an artist. Jesse would like to thank her family, friends, and teachers for helping her get through school. Good luck, Jesse. <laughs> Autumn Johnson. <laughs> I would like to thank the local staff and their family for supporting her always. She would especially like to thank her mom, dad, and siblings for all the love and happiness they've constantly given her. Best wishes, Autumn. <laughs> Chris Jones. Chris would like to thank his dad, mom, and grandparents for their love and support. He would also like to thank Mrs. Jorgensen for her commitment to helping him through to college and introducing him to the trades as a career path. Earlier this year, Chris received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District 22 to enroll in the Welding Foundation program at Okanagan College. Chris successfully completed his level one and two welding technical training in February of this year. Congratulations, Chris. Zach Kelly. Zach's future plans are to attend university to pursue a degree in biochemistry. We would like to thank his mother and the remainder of his family for their support throughout the high school. Good luck, Zach. David would like to thank Yano, Alec, and Karen for always being there for him. He's excited to go to TRU for school and would like to thank the weekend for getting him through school. Earlier this year, David received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Millwright program at Thompson Rivers University, which he will start in February 2019. Dalen also competed in the PC Skills Regional Competition. Well done, Dalen. Dakota Kowalski. Dakota will miss the friendships he made at Clarence Coleman. He thanks his teachers, friends, and especially his family for their love and support. Dakota is excited to begin traveling down the road of life. Good luck, Dakota. Hunter Krieger. helping him grow into the person he is today. Well done, Hunter. <laughs> Karit Kuntilasa. Karit would like to thank his parents for the opportunity to travel across the world to study in Canada. Without their support, he would not have come this far and wouldn't know that there were just many wonderful things waiting for him to explore. Congratulations, Karit. Jared Lada. Jared He plans to attend the University of Victoria next year. We'd like to thank his family, friends, and teachers for their wonderful time at Fulton. Good luck, Jared. Reese Lawrence. We would like to thank his parents and sister for all their help over the past four years by pushing him through school. Well done, Reed. Zach, Zach would like to thank his mom and all of his teachers for the amazing five years he's had. He especially thanks Mr. Toombs from the Charles Bloom Portion Program for the awesome year there. Earlier this year, Zach received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Heavy Mechanical Technician Program at Open Up College which will start in September. At this time, I'd like to call upon Ms. Rebecca Graf to present Zachary with the Silver Star Rotary Club Trades and Scholarship. <laughs> Lastly, I'd like to call upon Mrs. Sandra Peterson, Patterson excuse me, to present Zachary with the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 25 version. <laughs> Congratulations, Alan. Holly Leon. Holly would like to thank Mr. McKenzie and Mr. Thorburn for helping and supporting him throughout the years. He'd also like to mention how proud he is of his friends and peers. 
In addition, I would like to call upon Joey Rivet to present Ollie with the Fraternal Orders of Eagles Ladies Auxiliary Scholarship. And next, I'd like to call upon Ms. Andrea Porter to present Ollie with the Helen Smith Fund for Fine Arts Program Scholarship and the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship and the Open Autumn Artists of Canada Scholarship. Congratulations, Dr. Leon. Callum would like to thank his parents for the continuous support for any decisions he has made throughout high school. Best wishes, Callum. Michael Kishimori. Michael's future plans are to go to school for RV Service Tech. He would like to thank his grandparents and parents for helping him through school. Earlier this year, Michael received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the RV Technician Program at Okanagan College, which will be a start in September. Congratulations, Michael. Thomas Mackey. Thomas would like to thank his parents for all their love and support. Thomas took part in the RCMP Academy in May and is looking forward to pursuing a career in law enforcement. Good luck, Thomas. <laughs> Abba <laughs> Deep would like to thank her family and friends for helping her get through high school. She also thanks her teachers that have pushed her to do her best. Amadeep's plans are to go to college to study nursing. Good luck, Amadeep. Lindsay McIntosh. Lindsay would like to thank his family for supporting him and his close friends for making high school a little smoother. Lindsay plans to pursue a red seal in the culinary arts and to make a career out of his passion for photography. Earlier this year, Lindsay's received a tuition sponsorship from School District 22 to enroll in the Culinary Arts Program at Okanagan College, which he will start in October. I'd like to call upon Ms. Violetta Mikovitz and Mrs. Marty Niles to present Lindsay with the Vernon Farmers Market anniversary. I'd also like to call upon Ms. Jennifer Gray to present Lindsay with the Vernon Creek Cafe Culinary Arts Award. Congratulations, Lindsay. Jacob Miller. <laughs> Jacob would like to thank his family for always showing how much they care, his friends for always staying by his side, his grandma for bringing a whole new meaning to Friday. <laughs> Earlier this year, Jacob received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Pastry Arts Program at Okanagan College, which he will start in January of 2019. Good luck, Jacob. <laughs> Austin Moore. <laughs> Austin would like to thank all his teachers, Coach Scheller and Coach Olson, and all his family and his tutor, Ken and Billy Bill. Good luck, Austin. Mackenzie Moore. Mackenzie's future plans are to become a teacher and a basketball coach. She would like to thank her friends, family, and coaches for shaping her into who she is today. I'd like to call upon the following. Eli Silver to present Mackenzie with the Marika Kirchstein Scholarship. Ms. Sandra Thorburn to present her with the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship. Mr. Dale Olson to present Mackenzie with the William D. and Eleanor Jerry Hamilton Scholarship. And lastly, I'd like to call upon Mr. Archie Stoyanis to present Mackenzie with the honorary George Rowley Award bursary from Educational Facility Managers Association, BC. <laughs> Kara Newman. 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 K
our thanks for mom, dad, for cat tinkles, for grandparents, Mr. Pedister, and Mrs. Balcom for helping her through the year. Well done, here. Emily goes with you. Emily's last words are, wow, I did. Congratulations, Emily. Josh and I are. Josh would like to thank his friends for being there through this long journey and helping to make it tolerable. Congratulations, Josh. Kayla Abtoy. Kayla would like to thank all of her family members and teachers for helping her along the way and for being there for her. Congratulations, Kayla. Isaac Olson. teachers, family, and friends who have helped him grow into the person he is today. Also, he would like to give a special shout out to Mr. Thompson who helped get him through math. Earlier this year, Isaac was the recipient of the Jordan Young Memorial Scholarship. This time, I'd like to call upon Ms. March Sylvester to present Isaac with the Vernon Retired Teachers Association Scholarship. Congratulations, Austin. Sydney Morton. Sydney, we'd like to thank all the people that supported her through school. Sydney is very excited to pursue the Nursing Unit Assistant Program in September. Earlier this year, Sydney received the tuition sponsorship from School District 22 to enroll in the Nursing Unit Program at OC, which she will start in September. Congratulations, Sydney. Riley Polk. Riley's future plan is to become a successful business owner or high-grade construction worker. He thanks his mother, father, and all his supportive peers that have been with him the whole time for their positive attitudes. Good luck, Riley. Jesse Preston. Jess would like to thank Lisa Balcom for being a second mom and changing her life completely. She thanks also her mom, Debbie, and family, and thanks to the people who didn't believe in her because it gave her more strength and motivation. First reason, earlier this year, Jesse was the recipient of the Global Degree Scholarship. Congratulations, Jesse. Isabella Rapolsky. apologizes to her teachers for being late to every class. She appreciates everything they have done to help her succeed. Izzy wishes her crash her class all the best in their future. This time I'd like to call upon Mrs. Mrs. Roberta Rapolsky, as his mom, to present Isabella with the QP Local 5523 scholarship. Congratulations. Sunny's <laughs> plans, sorry, Sunny's future plans are to attend Oakland College to become a licensed practical nurse. We'd like to thank her family and friends, and especially her teachers, for not failing her when she didn't show up. Good luck, Sunny. Marcus Ramos. Marcus would like to thank his teachers, friends, and family for their plans to study fine arts at EBCO. Earlier this year, Marcus received a Cal Tire staff bursary. And at this time, I'd like to call upon Madame Karina Summercott to present Marcus with the Mission Hill Elementary Pack Citizenship Scholarship. Mrs. Andrea Thorburn. Present Marcus with the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship. And lastly, Jennifer Gray. 
to present markets with the Silver Star Rotary Achievement. Congratulations, Marcus. Colby Raycock. Colby would like to thank its friends and family for all the support during school. Colby's very excited to study photography, culinary arts, and much, much more in his future. Good luck, Colby. Years. He's excited to attend Oakland College in September to achieve an early childhood education diploma. At this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Richard Santos to present the law of the Sydney Treasurer Award and the Oil Award. not have done it without all of you. Jill sends her congratulations to the class of 2018 and wishes them good luck. Earlier this year, Jillian received a tuition sponsorship in the Vernon School District and enrolled in the Education Assistant Program at OC, which she will start in September. At this time, I'd like to call upon Mrs. Andrea Thorburn to present Jillian the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship and the Okanagan Artists of Canada Scholarship. Congratulations, Jillian. Kristen Wilson would like to thank her family for supporting her decisions and for helping her grow into the person she is today. Best wishes, Kristen. Ryan Dumbsey. Ryan would like to thank the teachers, especially Olson and Shelley, for teaching, teaching him to keep it cool like Fonzie. Hey. And he says, Jelly Jelly. Congratulations, Ryan. Tyson Samford. Tyson would like to thank his parents for their endless support and love. He'd also like to thank his good friends, PBRs and ABs, for always being there for him on his days off. Texas forever. In addition, I'd like to call upon Mrs. Randy Lund to present Tyson with the Miles Walford Memorial Person. Congratulations, Tyson. Alexander Sarver. <laughs> Alex would like to thank her mom and family for all their love and support. Alex plans to start her nursing unit clerk in the fall. Earlier this year, Alex received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the nursing unit assistant program at Oak College. It starts in September. Congratulations, Alexander. <laughs> Matt Sheehan. Matt is currently attending Oak Rock College in Kelowna for his pre apprenticeship in aircraft maintenance engineering. I would like to thank Mr. Silver and Mrs. Jorgensen for their support and the amazing opportunities they have provided. Earlier this year, Matt received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon School District to enroll in the aircraft maintenance engineer structural program at OC. Matt is currently taking the program in Florida and will graduate from Okanagan College. At this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Eli Silver to present Matthew for the Ministry of Education District Project Scholarship. As well, I'd like to call upon Mr. Daniel Trout to present Matthew with the Nixon Langer Scholarship. Good luck, Matt. 
Kyle and Sam. Kyle would like to thank all his friends and family who helped support him through the year. He would especially like to thank his boyfriend for his support and is excited to start pursuing a career in law in the upcoming school year. Earlier this year, Kyle received a tuition sponsorship from School District 22 to enroll in the Office Assistant Program at Okanagan College, which he completed while attending high school. Well done, Kyle. <laughs> Ashley Citizens. Ashley would like to thank her mom and dad for helping her throughout the years. She's thrilled that she's become and developed some confidence over the years and has become a model. She also thanks her teachers who passed her, but barely. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, congratulations, Ashley. <laughs> Jacob Slade. <laughs> Jacob would like to thank his family and teachers for pushing him to thrive in life and out of school, in school and out of school, which will forever impact his life. Jacob thanks all the amazing friends he's made over the years. Best wishes, Jacob. Alicia Smith. Alicia thanks her mom for all her love and support over the years. She plans to study and be a nurse. Good luck, Alicia. <laughs> Natasha, say good evening. Natasha thanks her mom for all her love and support over the years. Natasha's future plans include studying to be a nurse. Good luck, Natasha. <laughs> Emily Talbot. <laughs> Emily has an endless gratitude for the teachers who have given her not only help and encouragement, but also patience and understanding when she needed. We'd also like to thank her friends who made her everyday life a little brighter. This time I'd like to call upon Mr. Ed Schrader to present Emily with Dr. Vic Dimitri from the Morris Scholarship. <laughs> Next, I would like to call upon Mrs. Karina Sommerfeld to present Emily with the Smart and Caring Community Fund Scholarship. And lastly, I would like to call on myself to present Emily with the Ann Barton of the Royal Version. Megan, <laughs> Megan Teagle. She's very happy she had the opportunity and is excited to start her new journey. Earlier this year, Megan received the tuition sponsorship from the Vernon School District to enroll in the Nursing Unit Assistant Program at Okanagan College. Megan successfully completed the program and is currently working in the industry. Congratulations, Megan. Josh Thomas. Josh would like to thank all those people who supported him through a turbulent time in his life. He also contends that according to the laws of aviation, bees should not be able to fly due to the size of their wings in ratio to their body mass. Earlier this year, Josh received a tuition sponsorship from Vernon District 22 to enroll in the welding program at Okanagan College. And he will start this program in February of 2019. Congratulations, Josh. Alexander Dutch. Alex would like to thank Mama and Papa, friends for their support throughout the years. Alex has just completed his level one welding technical training and is currently apprenticing as a welder in Armstrong. Earlier this year, Alex received a tuition scholarship from Vernon School District to enroll in the Welding Foundation program at OC. Alex successfully completed his level one and two welding technical training in February of this year. Currently working. Congratulations, Alex. 
most important throughout the school. After high school, Cameron would like to travel across Canada and meet a number of different chefs along the way. Cameron's parting words are, we made it, boys. Good luck, Cameron. See you all. See you. Oliver is going to U of A to study computer science. We'd like to thank his home state for two amazing years in Canada. He also thanks his parents for supporting him to study in Canada. Earlier this year, Oliver was a recipient of the University of Alberta Entrance Scholarship. Good luck, Oliver. Here is Joe. Is we would like to thank our parents, teachers, and all of our friends for all the understanding and support for the past years. All of you have made the life at home fantastic. Bonnie was early awarded the University of Waterloo Entrance Scholarship. Rob Dunn won. Thank you, Mr. G and Mrs. Olson. You did a fantastic job of introducing us to all of our Maroon graduates. Uh, we would now like to honor Fulton's top graduating students with our special awards. I would call upon Mr. Ed Schrader to join us to present the award for our top business education student. This student was an outstanding student in the business education and computer technology department. He was always ahead of his classmates and he was very keen at exploring different aspects of technology on his own time. He was also heavily involved in the creation of the yearbook, which would not have been possible if he hadn't committed so much time to that task. It is this reason that I am happy to present the top business education computer student award to Hunter Broughton. Congratulations, Hunter. Hey, Miss Harrison, will you now join us to present, present our top textiles and food sciences award? This young lady is very deserving of this award. In foods and nutrition, she was the backbone to her unit, ensuring that the three young men she worked with did their share in the kitchen. And that was not an easily accomplished task. She consistently was at the top of her class and always strived to do her best. In clothing and textiles, her projects were always of high quality. Fellow students, upon learning that she made the outfit that she was wearing, often commented, wow, that looks like it came from a high-end clothing store. Her focus and dedication to excellence have been outstanding. Congratulations to our top textiles food science student, Jaylen Cotter. Our next award will be the top student in fine arts. I would ask Ms. Andrea Thorburn, our fine arts teacher and in-house artist, to join us to present the award. This student is being recognized for both their technical skills, their creativity, and their visual arts. The work has developed to an outstanding level with a focus on portraiture. This student displays a quiet inner strength and confidence which shines through in their work. Their future plan is to go to study fine arts at UBC Okanagan and eventually on to Emily Carr. Please join me in congratulating Ollie Leon. Our top <laughs> Our 
Our next award is the top student in tech. Eli Silver, one of our tech ed teachers, will present this award. This student consistently demonstrated a strong technical aptitude, exemplary work ethic, and even stronger desire to tackle new processes and projects. He's the first student in 14 years of woodwork at Clarence Fulton to attempt and complete a black walnut acoustic guitar. He has the rare ability to force his problems ahead of time and the maturity to learn from his mistakes. He conducted himself in a respectful and compassionate manner in his interactions with his classmates and staff and is currently enrolled in the a and &E Structures course at OC. It is a pleasure to award Matthew Sheeman the top technology Congratulations, Master. Fulton's Female Athlete of the Year for 2018 will be presented by Fulton's physical education teacher and coach, Mr. Mike Scheller. This year, there are co winners of the Fulton Female Athlete of the Year Award. The first recipient was the captain of the volleyball team that played basketball, soccer, and ran the 100 meter sprint. She was a dominating middle blocker on the volleyball team, was able to pound balls to the ground, had a jump float serve that would rack up points for her team. She was a leader on the court and a great citizen around our school. The second recipient also played volleyball, basketball, and soccer for Fulton. She was an aggressive power hitter who, in her graduating year, selflessly trained as a setter to give her team the opportunity to go to the provincials. This is a very difficult task to take the goals that had never been attempted before at Fulton. She put the team before herself. Offensively, she set up the hitters for front and back row attack combinations. She was also tough defensively not letting any balls drop to the ground, and had a killer serve that would usually end up in an ace. Both girls led their team to second place finishes in the volleyball and basketball North Zones, and a third place finish in soccer. Both girls led their team to go undefeated at Okanagan Valley Volleyball Championships, placing first, and they both led their team to a seventh place finish at the Provincial AA Girls Championships. These girls are great athletes and tough competitors. And interestingly enough, both have the same initials. Fulton's Female Athletes of the Year are Allison Bobkirk and Abby Hughes. Congratulations, ladies. Fulton's Male Athlete of the Year Award will be presented by Mr. Dale Olson, Fulton's Athletic Director, Physical Education Teacher, and Coach. This group of young men in grade 12 has represented our school for five years and has played with a huge amount of career and pride. Together they accomplished many things that could not have been done without the support of each other. They have set the bar very high for future recruiting athletes. This year's Male Athlete of the Year has been a three-sport athlete for all five of his years at Fulton. He excelled in all sports he participated in. During his grade 12 year, he found success on the gridiron. He was a conference all-star at both the positions he played. He was a provincial all-star, team captain, and led his team to a quarterfinal game in BC Place. In basketball, this young man was once again team captain, led the team in shooting percentage and rebounding. 
He was an all-star in multiple tournaments, as well as player of the game many times. He was our leader and the person running the team on the floor. He led us to a top eight finish at the Provincial Basketball Championships. In rugby, he represented Bolton as a captain and one of the most accomplished rugby players ever. He led his team to win the BC Seven Man Rugby Championships in Vancouver and was named MVP for the tournament. This athlete also played a big part in helping his team to a sixth place finish in the BC High School Rugby Championships, where he was named to the provincial All Star team. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Male Athlete of the Year is Isaac Olson. <laughs> I would like now to call upon uh, two exceptionally fine gentlemen, Mr. Mr. Richard Santos and Mr. Ed Schrader, to present our citizenship class. Plaques are given to students who have made a significant contribution to their school and community. This year, the following students have earned citizenship plaques. Dano Jansons. <laughs> J.K. Stephon Foster, Jared Latta, Isaac Olson, Allison Bunker, Abby Hughes, Demi Williamson and Ashton Abramenko. Congratulations. I'll head to the back for a photo with Mr. Santos. Our next award is our top international student. It's presented by our own international teacher, Miss Patty Harrison. She's still here. This year's top international student showed the dedication and courage that it takes to step into a different culture with a foreign language in a different part of the world and achieve at the highest level. During her time at Fulton, she maintained an intense focus that earned her the respect of classmates and teachers alike. We are all eager to see where her dreams and determination take her next. Fulton's top international student is Kieran Joe. We'll call on Mr. G to present the next award. The next award is the Larry Christ Principal Award. It is presented annually to a student who is recognized by the staff for overcoming adversity with dignity and determination. Larry Grist was a former longtime Fulton principal 
who was responsible for making this school into what it is today. The recipient of this award is a student who has impacted our school in each of her three years at Fulton. During that time, she maintained an A average while living independently and working to support herself. She can regularly change the environment in a classroom with intelligent, critical thought. But the impressive quality of her thinking is that she always delivers her ideas with the grace of an unwavering philosophy about her people. She values relationships and can defend her people first principles in any circle of intelligent conversation. In a world where ultimatums, intolerance, and division seem to be gaining traction, she is a voice of understanding, inclusion, and unity. People love to be around her because she makes us feel good. Thank you for all you have given our school. This year's winner of the Larry Bristol Award is Emily Tell. Mr. Ed Schrader to present the next award. The Harold Rourke Award is presented annually to the top academic student in our graduating class. Harold was a former Fulton principal and Vernon School District superintendent who was highly respected in our school and in our community. This student truly embraces learning. He challenges himself to think beyond the obvious and to imagine the yet discovered. This student has managed to maintain a 94% average in his grade 12 year. This student also found the time to help his fellow students whenever they needed help, even if, was, even if he was using his wacky sense of humor. He is a truly all around excellent student and exceptional young man. This year's Harold Rourke Top Academic Award goes to Hunter Broughton. Congratulations, Hunter. And finally, I call on Mr. Brian Elk, Fulton's principal, to present this year's award to the graduating class's top all-round student. This year's recipient of the top all-round student has excelled in academics, athletics, and the arts since arriving at Fulton. This person is a multi-talented and multi-faceted individual who is renowned for giving his absolute best in any endeavor. His time management skills are exceptional to be able to balance all the interests he has at Fulton. Academically, he has taken a number of science and mathematics courses, achieving excellent grades in these difficult classes. He's been a fixture on the Fulton Drama Program for the past three years. In his senior year, he was outstanding as the lead actor in Fulton's production of Life Spirit. He was a three-year starter on the varsity football team, captaining the squad in his grade 12 year. He has exceptional talent in the game of football and was named the Interior Conference All-Star Team in both his grade 11 and grade 12 years. He will pursue and excel in this sport in his post-secondary years. In rugby, his physical presence and flowing blonde mane struck fear into his opponents. His opponents were even more shocked when he showed a genuine concern for their well-being following a hard tackle or a punishing run. What truly sets this individual apart from most people is his compassion and personality. He has the rare ability to make people feel good about themselves simply through his presence. The Fulton staff find it hard to believe that this individual has ever had a negative thought, let alone said a bad word about someone else. Amongst his talents, his best talent is that he's one of the nicest people you will ever meet. The 2018 winner of the top overall student 
is JJ. <laughs> Hopefully JJ hasn't gone too far. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you two guys with amazing hair. One of them you just saw. The other one is Yano Janssens. Did I invite Yano Janssens and Mr. JJ Heaton to the podium now, as they are the 2018 speakers of the class. Well, that was terrible timing. <laughs> First of all, we would both like to personally thank the Hollywood Foreign Press, because that's apparently what everybody has to do when they're given a speech. We would also like to thank everybody in the audience for coming out today. This includes all parents, grandparents, siblings, teachers, current or past, and coaches, tall and short. We know there are many of you here from out of town, and we appreciate you being here to bear witness. To bear witness to a celebration, a celebration not of birth nor of marriage, but of endurance and victory. The endurance it takes to run full board for 12 years straight without stopping, and the victory that comes along with it. School, to a student, is like a novel. Every year another chapter, every sentence an occurrence, and every word a thought. We have been writing these books for 12 years. 12 years of brilliance, creativity, and more than occasional writer's block. Yet, the words continue to flow onto the pages of our individual novels. Everybody writes their own books. Some of these books are educational. Others are action thrillers. But for most of us, these books are romantic comedies, but the guy doesn't actually end up meeting the girl, but at least that's all along the way. There are many changes in these books. For example, Ashton finally knew what proper footwear looks like. Talon became a strong man. Cole went from being that one guy with glasses to that one guy with a soul patch. Isaac then busted out his hair one year. Steady got some gel and never looked back. Izzy finally learned what sarcasm is. <laughs> and the big three learned to face their fear of cuties and sit with the girls at lunch. However, some things remain the same. I will always be able to fool off the man bun, I hope. Kim is still a redneck. <laughs> Tyson still makes a once a month gym appearance. Reed still has no filter whatsoever. Dale and Miss Wall are still best friends. Isabella still can't park a truck. Nathan still has a beard. Ty has remained the same haircut since the first. And JJ, you still got the best moves in school. The length of these books will be very long. Some people might stop writing halfway through the 11th chapter and immediately start working the sequel. And some of you may go back to write a 13th chapter. But for most of us, it was 12, and the book is almost complete as we approach the last sentences of the final chapter. It is now that we might look back on these past 12 years and realize how much the world has changed and how much we've seen. For example, if anybody had come to me in my childhood and mentioned the word Yeezys, I probably would have taken as an insult. You remember me? Being in the basement of your friend's house, rolling around in the air mattress, laughing your ducks out every Saturday night? Or what about playing road hockey with your best buds after school? Do you remember when Gangnam Style was a thing? 
Do you remember walking into school on a brisk December evening in 2012, scared for your life because you thought the world was going to end? Well, give us the same scenario two months ago, we'd all be overjoyed. It's been a pleasure and a privilege to have witnessed these changes with all of you. You have all endured so much over the years, and we would both like to congratulate you all on making it over the hurdles. We are thankful to everyone here. We would like to take a pause for Miles as we celebrate this day with him in our hearts. You've all taught us so much over the past five years. For example, Rumsey showed me how to finally get my hair into a towel and keep it there. Abby taught me that it's possible to score in your own hoop during the basketball game. Riley showed me just how quickly a simple trip to the recycling bin can turn into falling down a bank and accidentally throwing your shoe in your bank. Jordan taught me every word to ACDC's rock and rolling noise pollution, along with some legendary air guitar moves. A certain special someone who showed me exactly how to miss the thing you were trying to cut, stab yourself in the hand with exacto knife because you don't believe in scissors. And Ryan taught me how to be fashionably late with no shoes, no shirt, and how to still get service. Graduate 2018. The time has come for us to write the conclusions to our great books and look towards a sequel, and possibly a trilogy. After all, those are usually bestsellers for your movies. As with all great stories, do not forget the characters who seem to play the minor role or where the first book took place. Also, remember the lessons that were written between the lines. Everything that we've learned over the last 12 years will be what enables us to accomplish our future goals. Class of 2018, we did it. It's time to make the world ours and accomplish our goals. So let us throw our hats in the sky with these final words. Dilly dilly! That brings to a conclusion our formal grand ceremony. Would you please rise for the recessional of the Clarence Fulton Secondary Graduating Class as we present the grads of 2018.